Okay, so let's talk about the new film, Divinity, which is going to be out in some limited release this coming week, as well as this Friday, and I think it gets a full release in November. This film is directed by Eddie Alcazar. I had never watched anything prior to this and their work, but I am excited to check out more of it because this is definitely a very different vision and very interesting premise that we have here, and the execution is just something I think that feels very fresh and new. So this is a film in which which basically you see this man who has developed the sort of cure to aging and dying and now you can be immortal but it comes at a price and I'm not going to spoil too much about the film because I think there is a lot here to definitely check out for your own. This film is taking things a little bit more to the extremes and all of that I will say. It is a very sexual film so if that's a Thing that you want to sort of avoid in films because I've been seeing a lot of people say that recently then this is definitely your warning about that um, but let's get right into the film itself so this is a film in which you see two brothers come to try and sort of put this one man who developed the cure to mortality and put him to the test now that test includes having this man be strapped to a chair and having to ingest this product over and over again and that's all i'll say about it because i think saying more definitely would ruin it but the way that the story is told is very different from your standard film there is a lot of i would say symbolism that is sprinkled throughout and it is more i feel of an art house experimental type film it's not your um usual film here where like you move from plot to plot it is more of a film i feel like i like to call these films just pure vibes that's what i like to say about these type of movies and i say that because i know some people don't like these films where there is just vibes going on like and that's not a bad thing either if you don't like these type of films i'm just giving you that warning right here but i think that everything here that is done is done with sort of a message behind every single thing like there is a point i think when making this film that they said we want this to be shown we want this to be seen we want this to be said and we want this to be the message of it all and there is a lot of messaging here and i very much so enjoy the creativity and execution that's done here that's my first like big points to the film and itself and i do really love the story in itself as well i think it's a very interesting concept it would even make a better thing to expand it even more and see more of this world i think the world building was pretty good here and this film has some very interesting um people involved in this as well you have steven dorf you have moises arias jason janelle Karuchi Tran, Michael O'Hearn, Emily Willis, and Bella Thorne, directed by Eddie Alcazar and produced by Steven Soderbergh. So you have a pretty um, interesting cast and producer and director there. So I definitely do give the film in itself a lot of points for what they were able to do with the execution and as well as the vision, because there is a grand vision here. Now, I will say when it comes to some certain things in the film in itself, I feel like it could have been a little bit explained better in a way because some things don't really come off. I feel the way that they were intended and I don't want to get spoilers or anything like that, but I feel like there are some things in there that sort of get me a little bit like, eh, is that really what you meant to say? Or were you trying to say something else and it didn't come off right? Because I can definitely see how that is not coming off right at all. And that's spoilers if I talk about it. But I really do think if you're into wanting to watch something that is like very different from what's coming out right now and it just feels like somebody's just going ahead full on vision and putting all of these homages, these styles, these sort of like inspirations in their work. Because you can definitely see a lot of inspirations from other films, other media, from other TV shows and all of that in this film in itself. And you really get this very grand vision that this director had to showcase in their film. And that's something I think is something to applaud it in this day and age, I feel. And when you really get something out of the box that is just feeling like, damn, there's some very cool scenery, some imagery here that's presented and some wild ideas. And I'm glad I was able to see that. So that's exactly how I felt after watching Divinity. Like I said, there's some minor plot points, some minor things with the story, representation of certain people in this that I felt was not chosen or taken care of as it should because it sort of came off weak or at times can be misinterpreted and be seen as something that's doesn't really like 
vibe well. But overall, for the movie in itself, for its creativity and all of that, and for just taking a chance to be something different, and for some very great acting, especially from Steven Dorff, who I think does an amazing job here. And it is just incredible to see from the beginning to the end how they are able to channel these very different feelings and incredible performance right at the very end as well. Because I really do think that he does such an amazing job in this transformation that he like literally does and that's all i'll say about that but yeah i think that this film is definitely going to develop a cult status i think this is going to be one of those films 20 years from now that everybody's gonna be like you remember that film came out and somebody's like yeah i heard about that but i never watched it and it's going to be like a trend to watch it and all that i could definitely see this film falling into that cult status and i'm I'm glad that i was able to watch it and if you want to watch it definitely check it out like i said it is weird it is just something of an art house type um like vibe movie it is very sexual, like I said, so that's a fair warning as well to you. So if you don't want to see something like that, that's your warning right there. But overall, I enjoyed Divinity. It was a film I wanted to watch at Sundance, and I finally got around to watching it now uh, during Fantastic Fest. So very excited to see what other people think about it. And if you hate it, I can understand why. If you love it, I understand why. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you're planning to watch it or not. But as always, that's going to do it for me. We give Divinity three and a half stars just for what it is doing and just for the amount of artistic vision that's there. So let us know your thoughts and opinions on Divinity down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We are doing a giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is follow us on Instagram, comment on any of our recent posts that you want to enter the giveaway, and a winner will be announced during the fall of the House of Usher review video, which is coming out tonight. So stay tuned for that. But as always, that's going to do it for me. We got more reviews coming for you all weekend and stay tuned because we got a ton of movies we want to talk about from fantastic fest but as always it's going to do it for us make sure you're following us on all the social medias twitter instagram tiktok all that good stuff on the road to 31,000 subscribers less than 3,000 to go so super excited about that and we got our review on our favorite film of the year so far coming out tomorrow so very excited to talk about that movie but as always that's going to do it for us we are super happy that you joined us on this video and hopefully you'll join us in more as always stay safe Stay positive.